I know my mother was going through a lot of things. So I want to think that she needed someone to, to, to take out her anger, her frustration on, and, and that it was just kind of me. You know? Colin Gosselin getting real about his parents' divorce, which played out on the family's reality show John and Kate Plus 8 back in 2009. Uh, Kate and I have decided to separate. We've been dealing with this for um, a long time. I think it was worse than what you would say the average teenage kid goes through with their parents. In a new interview with Vice, the 19-year-old son of exes John and Kate Gosselin claims he was the target of his mother's anger and frustration during their split. I know my mother was going through a lot of things. I mean, a divorce and plenty of different things that can't be easy to go through. And, you know, I want to think that she needed someone to, to, to take out her anger and her frustration on. And, and that it was just kind of me. You know, I was in the way and I was there, so she chose me. Colin, now estranged from his mother after being institutionalized for behavioral issues in 2016, opens up about his experiences. I'm not going to say I was a perfect child, but I'd say my misbehaving was no different from my siblings. I think uh, my mother put me in there to keep me quiet. There was a, I had a lot of things to say about her and a lot of things in general to say. And I think that was just her, her way of making sure those things didn't get said. After being there, I didn't have a relationship with her. Even before that, I don't think we had much of a relationship. And I think that just kept tearing it even more down. After leaving the facility, Colin went to live with his dad and sister Hannah, who's also speaking to the outlet. She recalls the way her brother was treated differently than their fellow sex tuplets, Aiden, Joel, Leah, and Alexis. And they're now 22-year-old twin sisters, Kara and Madeline. He would be separated from us, like he would not get to come and play outside with us. He would eat dinner at different times than us. I don't think effort was made in the home to help him learn what behavior is acceptable and what behavior is not acceptable. You know, I came to the conclusion that everybody has their own agenda. You know, my mom had her own agenda. I don't know exactly what that was, but, you know, I was put in a tough spot and my agenda was to make it out on top of that tough spot. While Colin and Hannah have maintained a relationship... Oh, Hannah, I, I would do anything for my sister. He revealed last year he no longer speaks with their other brothers and sisters. I have not spoken with my siblings in, in probably like five or six years now. Um, and it's tough, but, you know, I would love to have a relationship with them. I would love, you know, for us to one day come together, you know, just have the relationship and catch up on the things that we, that we lost, the time that we lost. I love my siblings. I mean, I would be willing to put my parents aside, and I kind of how I see it is without parents involved, it's just me and them. And I really hope that, you know, one day when I have kids, that, you know, my kids will know their aunt and uncles. As for if Colin thinks he'll ever repair things with his mom, it would be ideal. It's unfortunate that we didn't have a relationship. I think every son wants to have a relationship with their mom. ET has reached out to both John and Kate for comment on Colin and Hannah's latest claims.